The big Ellie Bull's off to the left. We'll try to catch up with him. Hello, mister. Okay. Hello, mister. So this guy's probably about 30 years old. Well, a good morning to Mr. Barksman at Camaray Public School. And he's wondering what function does an elephant's trunk form? There we go. It's basically like another, it's an arm. There are over a hundred thousand muscles in that. And they're incredibly dexterous. They're able to pick up the smallest little leaf or fruit that they're interested in. And here we go. You can see how incredibly powerful it is. Look at that. So he's going to break through. He's eating a leadwood tree. Now, on inside of an elephant's mouth is like an old boot. It's tough. They can munch on the biggest thorns. Well, a very good morning to Mrs. Rant at Borakan Public School. And she's wondering, do elephant, female elephants have tusks as well? Uh, they do. What I'm going to try to do is zip around. They're going through some thick bush there and catch them on the next open area. And there's a whole bunch of females and babies there as well. But yes, they do. Now, the tusks uh, in females are more used for, for feeding. They're able to debark trees with them to get to the nutrient-rich cambium layer that transports water and minerals up from the soil and um, from the roots. And with males, they use it for feeding, but as well uh, as for fighting. Now, females will use their tusks for fighting, but it's not it's a secondary uh, use rather than their primary use. With the males, again, the fighting is obviously far more important, uh, so they have access to females. Okay, now, there's probably about 40 elephants in that group. We could only see a few of them on the edge of the bush. So, we should be there in a few seconds. Hold on, bumpity bump. So, Miss Pike is wondering, what do you do with an, when an elephant charges you? Well, Miss Pike, it all depends on the exact uh, situation. And it, it is very, very dependent on the mood of the animals uh, and uh, the situation where you are. Most of the times, you can stop an elephant charge with a well-meaning, stop it, naughty elephant. Works quite well for me. Um, or tapping the side of the car, making a noise that's unusual. So there is that really big bull, and he's got quite an interesting uh, little adaptation there. Well, not an adaptation, uh, an injury that's caused him to have a floppy ear. There he goes. And you can see he's absolutely massive. I'm going to try to get us in a position where we can see him next to a female. And you can actually see the size difference between them. There we go, he's going to walk up to those females there. And you can see how much bigger he is. Now, look at this quite interesting behavior that's happening here. So that elephant bull is in must. What it means is he's got he's a heightened hormonal period. So he can only mate with a female when he's in must or estrus. So he's basically when she's in estrus and he's in must. So he's trailing the herd, looking for a female. He might be able to smell that there's a female about to be ready to breed. And uh, that's why he keeps following them. Now, it can make the elephants a little bit less relaxed. Especially when there's a big bull. There we go. You can see that she's not too happy. Doesn't want the big bull to come too close to her. And they can be very, there we go. See, there could be a bit of trumpeting and screaming. Look at the size of him. He is massive. His head alone probably weighs a thousand kilograms. Okay. 
here comes one more. It's the same little bull that was with us earlier. Good morning to Class 2C at the Junction Public School. Great to have you on the back of the world's biggest safari vehicle. Now they're wondering, do elephants always travel in herds and how many? Uh, not always. Uh, the bulls, when they're not looking for ladies, they'll travel by themselves in, or in small bachelor groups. But the females are almost always in herds and it's generally a related family group. So there'll be a bunch of females, you know, sisters or aunts or whatnot, and they'll all travel together. And you get little bulls like this, and he's not quite old enough to challenge for mating rights. And they hang around like this one is on the periphery, so just 100 meters or so I'm behind the rest of the herd. And if they get a bit close, sometimes the females get quite upset with them and give them a good disciplining. Okay, so he's going to walk right behind us. Hey, big boy. So he's probably got another couple of years left before he is big enough to challenge the big males. Morning, Miss McDonald, in a beer cross public school. Uh, and she's saying, how do you, can you age elephants? Well, with the elephant bulls, it's a bit easier, uh, just from size and indentations in the skull. Uh, cows can be a bit more difficult. Oh, look at that. Look at Yum, yum, yum. Bush willow for breakfast. Oh, and you can hear in the distance trees being broken and cracked by the rest of the herd. Okay, so we did have some lion tracks and tracks of lions with cubs before we bumped into these elephants. And we're going to keep looking for the lions. And while these elephants 